Hi and welcome back. This quick lesson is going to be talking about data patterns and their representative chart types. Now there's two chart types that we're going to be focusing on in this course. The first is composition and the second is comparison. A composition chart type, as the name suggests, is a chart type where it takes a data series, say of revenue or sales or profits, and it decomposes that into a finer granularity such as geography, or product line. And what it allows us to do is essentially drill down into that data series and see how else it is defined, or as the name implies, how it's composed. So what I did here, I actually listed four chart types. Three of them are bolded, and that's because we're actually going to be covering them in class in due time, and we're actually going to be skipping area charts. But in terms of composition, you can see we can talk about stacked bars or stacked horizontal bars, 100% stacked bars and 100% horizontal stacked bars are actually really incredible, so I can't wait to get to that lesson. Area charts, which we're going to skip just because they're not very common at all in standard business presentations. And then finally, pie charts, which are always common. In contrast, we also have comparison. Now, as the name suggests, comparison is when we compare two different data series. So in terms of a time series chart, we may be comparing 2012 revenue to 2013 revenue, or we may be comparing revenue across companies from company A to company B. Examples of this, all which we'll see, are bar or horizontal charts, line charts, and also how to represent tables and text. Now on a side note, we won't be discussing these next type of data patterns or their associated chart types, I just wanted to mention them because they do have their place within a standard data visualization role, but in terms of presentations, they're not very common. And for the average audience member, it generally causes more confusion than understanding. So we're going to avoid them. And I would recommend that under the average scenario for a real high impact presentation, that you would avoid these chart types as well. But in either case, the data patterns are distribution and relationship, and you can see, see the associated chart types are histogram and scatter chart, and then a histogram again, and bubble chart. And like I promised, a very quick lesson, we're actually done, I just wanted you to make you aware of the chart types and the data patterns that we're going to be seeing and that we're going to be using in the course. I recommend writing them down, uh, taking notes, feel free to look up distribution and relationship data patterns as well, because it's very useful it's a good thing to know. It just doesn't un it just doesn't fall under the umbrella of a high impact presentation, so we're not going to be focusing on it today.